Thank you, Alan. In every generation, Jewish American patriots have strengthened, sustained, uplifted, and inspired our nation. In a moment, the Shalva Band will conclude this event with a song that we know very well. Before they do, I want to tell the famous story behind it. In 1918, a young Jewish American soldier stationed at Camp Upton in New York wrote a prayer in the form of a song. His name was Irving Berlin, maybe the greatest of them all. And he held that song close to his heart for more than 20 years. He did not release the song until 1938, as the world learned of Hitler's evil atrocities against the Jewish people. On November 10th of that year, his song broadcast through the radio and into the homes all across the country. Millions and millions of people were inspired. It was the first time Americans heard Irving Berlin's timeless hymn, God Bless America. These words became the prayer of our nation, the prayer that traveled to the islands of the Pacific, to the beaches of Normandy, and all the way to Nazi territory, where American soldiers opened the gates of concentration camps and liberated Jewish survivors. It's the prayer that Americans sang as we faced down communism and as we came together as one nation after 9-11. It's the prayer that still unites us today and the hope that burns bright in our hearts because we are proud American patriots. We love this magnificent nation with every ounce of our strength, spirit, and soul. So tonight, together, we ask that God bless our military. We ask that God bless our veterans. We ask that God bless our cherished ally, the State of Israel. And with our flag waving high, our people standing tall, and our faith forever strong, we say our prayer once more. God bless America, our home, sweet home. Thank you. Now I'd like to ask the Shalva Band back to the stage for a very, very special performance. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody.